everyone. Hi, happy Saturday. So it's my rest day today and I'm very happy about that, ecstatic about it in fact. Um, it's nice just to have nothing to do, I've had a proper lie-in and I'm really, really, really rested. So I promised you cooking and that is what I'm going to bring you. So today, this morning, again, on my Instagram page and on the Body Rock Insider page and on the Body Rock, uh, the Body Rock Facebook page, I posted my protein pancakes again, just for those of you that have never um, seen it before. So I promised you cooking and that is exactly what I'm going to do. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi. How are we? How is everybody? I'm just going to give you all a minute to log on. Hello, it's Saturday, it's my rest day, I'm super, super happy about it. So all I've done this morning is get up, lie in, have a protein pancake, and then go and buy all these things from the store. So, it's not an, it's not complicated. You know, hi, hi Laurie, Mwah. you know, um, uh, Laurie, I'll make you these next time I'm around. So you know, me being me, everything is quick and it's simple. So I've showed you. Um, treats, I've showed, you, I've showed you snacks, I've showed you how to stay on track, I've showed you um, how I do my chicken, I've showed you how I do my salmon, I've showed you my protein pancakes, with and without protein. Hello everybody, good weekend, it's Super Bowl weekend. Some of you out there are probably wondering, what am I going to take to this party that's going to be A, super awesome, B, dead quick, and C, gonna be able to have, I'm gonna be able to use it in the week. Now, Sean showed you some amazing things um, on his live. So he showed you all of the, um, like the wraps and using things for, um, using things for, uh, instead of bread, etc. So we are today gonna look at treats. Now, I came up with this. I love my pancakes, Michelle, hello. So I came up with this on a babysitting day because the young boy that I was babysitting for wanted chocolate and his mum was trying to wean him off uh, chocolate. So he was bored and it was raining. So we decided to make flapjacks, healthy flapjacks out of anything we had. Now at my house in the UK, we have a wall, a big wall and on the wall are little Tupperwares and in each Tupperware you have lots of different things. So you've got like, flax seeds or sunflower seeds or chia seeds or all these different things so it's kind of like one of those I'm gonna trick you into thinking that we're making so <laughs> that we're making something unhealthy but it's actually gonna be really healthy oh thank you thank you so these have turned into my little like whenever I go anywhere or whether I travel or whenever I'm at home and I want something just before or after I'm training just to keep my a my blood sugars high with natural blood sugar I am British yeah my natural blood sugar or a if I just want um, to look awesome in front of all my friends or B there's a party going on at work and also for you mums out there if you have um, like your kids do those things where they have to make cakes and stuff this is brilliant because you can have them and they can have them and it looks awesome so Hello, I'm just giving you all a minute just to log on, just to check it, just to check in. It's weekend, I'm well happy about it. We are going to cook, me and you today, we're going to cook again. And then we're going to do a 100 day challenge, which is going to be super easy today. Um, okay, Michelle, bye. <laughs> That's funny. Mm. So... It's your birthday. Happy birthday, Malcolm. Well, birthday. How old are you, Malcolm? Hi. 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 So this is chillaxed, Lisa, today. You don't normally see me in my jeans very often with my ripped jeans going on. <laughs> it all looks very different when it's not in gym gear, right? I'm very well. I'm really well. So are you ready? Shall we get on with it? So, just finished real time 24 and 25. You are crazy, Stephanie, You're absolutely mental. Hi, hi, hi Zoe, hi, hi. Yes, I know you love the cooking lives, that's why I'm here. So let me tell you what I did this morning to make this really simple. Um, we have a local health, health store here. Now, a lot of people say that if you buy things like nuts if you buy things like dried fruit etc it's expensive it is expensive if you buy huge packets of it 
it is expensive. For those of you that are just seeing, um, I'm just logging on right now. We're cooking again today because you asked for it, so I bring it. If you ask, I shall come. <laughs> ah, I'm very well, thank you, Belle. I'm 36. My wife loves your videos. I just thought you'd have a look and see what it's all about. Oh, nice one, Sue. Go for it. And about so protein pancakes. I have them every day, almost every day. Majorly beautiful today. Oh, thanks, Sue. I've got no makeup on, but just foundation. But you don't mind about that. It's a weekend, right? Hi. Give us a <laughs> give you a twirl. There you go then. There's a twirl view. There's a twirl. If people who don't say I have an ass, I do have an ass. It's just small. It just looks tiny when I'm on camera. I do. I'm a normal sized person. <laughs> just a little bit small. Petite. Okay, so let's get on with it. Talk over. Today we're making a healthy snack together. So last time we made protein pancakes together. Today we're going to make the best, easiest thing ever. Do this with your kids. They will love it. So, get yourself a bowl. Very quickly, everybody who's going to post in a minute, these are going to be very expensive, blah, blah, blah. They will be expensive if you don't do it clever. Go to your local health food shop and only buy what you need. This, sunflower seeds, like 26 cents. There's nothing. Like cashews here, they were like something ridiculous, like a dollar. I didn't buy a whole packet. I don't need a whole packet. So why am I going to buy a whole packet? So just buy what you need, okay? So these are my chosen ingredients today. I went for sunflower seeds, almonds. Now you get almonds like this. If you want to put them in your blender very quickly, they will turn into, these are blanched almonds, so they're just taken off the skin. Um, if I don't normally get these, I normally get these, and I just crush them up and, and chop them up. So just get your normal almonds. So we're going for almonds, which are awesome. Cashews, which are amazing. Then for my natural sugars, I've decided on apricots because they're amazing for you. I decided on figs because, you know, they'll keep you regular. Um, raisins because you need almost like a bit um, of like chewy sweetness and dates. Now, if I could, I'd have got medulla dates, but these are dried dates, not the same. I'd have got the actual proper dates, but they didn't sell the actual proper dates individually. They only sold them in a box. And if I buy the box, I eat the box. Remember that. If you can't be around it, don't buy it. That's why I didn't buy the box. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real now. I can't keep a box of medulla dates in my house without me eating them all. Okay? So, yeah. So, that's why we don't keep it in the house, right? So... You're going to need a base. So this is what I told you last time in one of my lives. You're going to need a base for all of this. So instead of me going out and buying chia seeds and flax seeds and all these other things that I wanted to put into my thing today, because they are expensive and they don't do them by the scoop, you have to buy a packet for them. I managed to find a organic um, oat with flax seeds in and chia seeds and it's also got a bit of rye in it's got a bit of spelt in it's got all of those good things in so this is organic so it all comes pre-packed now if you don't have this where you live just get yourself some of these which is what i put in my it, they're cheap really cheap very easy use these okay if you have flax seeds if you have chia seeds brilliant put them in the reason i tell you to put them in is because they're really good to help you with digestion Okay, so that is what we're going to do. So if you can get one that's like this, it's already got those in, saves you money. The, the most expensive parts of this are the, the specialist seeds, like your chia seeds, your flax seeds, sunflower seeds. I don't know why, but for some reason, cashews and almonds cost the earth right now. So try and buy them one individual like this. So all of this, I mean, this was like $3. $3. And this, all of these, maybe, all of them probably cost me maybe four or five dollars when you think of how much you spend on a pudding when you go out I'm telling you it's not expensive you just need to be clever be a bit thrifty right so i'm gonna move you over here so you can see what i'm doing okay so there's one more thing you're gonna need which you're gonna think is ridiculous but i've perfected this to a tea you're gonna need eggs so you're gonna get yourself some eggs you're also gonna need some apple sauce now i've got organic apple sauce if you want to make your own knock yourself out if you've got all the time in the world and if you've got children, maybe get yourself some um, chocolate. 
because it honestly this is a way to get these bad boys into kids without having loads and loads and loads and loads of like e numbers so are we ready to do this bad boy first things first set your oven i've set my oven at 450 i kind of think that's about right you keep you have to keep your eye on these anyway so get yourself a uh, baking tray some aluminum or aluminium as I would say aluminium foil and cover it in right into the corners very very important cover it in coconut oil got it coconut oil right in the corners don't use butter use coconut oil it's better for you okay so that's that's your tray ovens on it's been on for a while we're all over it got it so the kids are here it's boring they've got nothing to do we're, we're now living the dream and having a good time so first things first we need some coconut oil to put it in because coconut oil is awesome for you loads of good fats in there so about a, about a tablespoon of coconut oil okay it's not a lot so we need our base so the base i picked was this one if you're going to pick maybe you're going to put quinoa flakes maybe you're going to pick um organic oats maybe you're gonna pick you know whatever you want as long as it this one i like because it's got my flax seeds in and it's got my chia seeds in so it's got all of that good stuff so depending you think it's going to make a lot but honestly depending on how much you want to make and how many you want to make for you kind of need a lot of your base so that's like half a packet and this is a this is a 565 kilogram packet so about 250 grams so there now that I still think is not enough. I've done this before and you think you're making loads and you're really not. When you lie it out on the tray, you're like, God, I should have made more. So go bigger. That's what I'm saying. Go big. So I've gone for like three quarters of that packet. So that's with my coconut oil. So now you add all the ingredients. Now, if you've been clever like me, you've just kind of got the ingredients and you've been to the shop and you're just going to smash open the packets and put them in but obviously if you are keeping to a like a, if you're trying to be good with your diet etc maybe you want to measure it out maybe you want to you know make a note of how much you're doing so then you can put it into your my fitness pal and it will tell you how much you're eating but honestly if you're training hard one of these before you work out or after you work out is not going to kill you so we've put our sunflower seeds in we're now going to put our cashews in because we all love cashews. Yeah, man. Your friends are going to love you tomorrow if you go to Super Bowl and you make some of these, I'm telling you. So in here right now, we've got a tablespoon of coconut oil. We've got about 300... It's like, like a, uh, maybe a, a cup and a half full of my mix. So this has got like loads of different um, wheat... Wheat free as well. These are wheat free. So in here I've got spelt, I've got rye, I've got millet, I've got flax, I've got chia and I've got sunflower seeds. So they're all in there. So um, now I've got sunflower seeds, I've got cashews. Again, all of them have cost me nothing because I haven't brought a whole packet. I've just brought what I need. Okay. You can't, I don't, Julie, I don't think you can add protein powder. I haven't tried it, but try it, but I don't think you can. I don't think it cooks right. So, but you can try it. So, um, now we've added our almonds in. Again, if you haven't got any chopped almonds that come like this, the blanched almonds, just use regular almonds and cut them up, okay? That's all you got to do. Now, here's the good bit. So, raisins. I love raisins, and all kids love raisins. Anyone love ra loves raisins. There's some people out there that don't love raisins. I don't think Freddie likes raisins. I love raisins. So raisins go in. Try not to drop them on the floor because your dogs try and eat them. So raisins go in and it's already starting to get some kind of cool base going on now. Now, we're on the, um, just one second. I need my board. <clears throat> so, now we are on the coolness of apricots. So, I'm going to add our apricots. I love apricots. A very underrated. Again, if you can get... Um, if you can get them when they're not too dried out, the, the 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 better. I like the dried apricots in mine. It's you can mix it up, whatever you want, whatever you want to do yourself. So try and keep them big. Try not to make the pieces tiny. These aren't like baby foods. Try to make them like big. And try not to eat everything as you go in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> try not to do that. But you can, you know, 
You have to try it just to make sure that these are lovely. These are organic and they taste heavily. Ah, it's so nice. So we're adding the apricots right now. We're cutting them up into fours. Can you see? Yeah, I think you can. I think we're doing all right. I don't do bad, you know, to say I haven't got anybody else to help me. So I'm cutting up my apricots. So those of you that have just joined me, I've got a tablespoon of coconut oil, about a cup and a half of my... Um, of my oats, uh, flax seeds and chia seeds because that's the mix that my my store sells. Try it. If you want to add them separately, do it, but it's quite expensive if you want to buy whole packets. If you make this a lot, then it's not expensive. Buy the whole packets. But the problem is, if you buy the whole packets, you end up spending like 200 quid just to make a pudding, which is still cheaper than eating puddings out, by the way. If you, if you, sit, if you put all of this ingredients into a pudding that you would have when you go out, like 14 15 dollars okay so in here we've got almonds we've got cashews we've got raisins we've got um apricots we've got um all the oats we've got the base which is um coconut oil all that's all that good stuff's in there so the next one i picked because I, I you just pick you just pick ingredients no I said, if you do buy full packets of everything it will cost you a lot of money so do what i did at the beginning of this video just go out and buy what you need so it's like a couple of dollars job done let's keep it let's keep it simple and smart dead easy so right now you can see this is not taking up a lot of time it's dead easy it's not faffy it's not fussy at all so all your kids are getting involved you could they could put whatever they want in whatever dried fruit they want Take them to the health food store, get them to pick what they want. Obviously, the more dried fruit you put in, the more sugar you add in. So try and pick dried fruits that are going to actually have some benefit as well. So I pick apricots because they're amazing for you. I pick figs because they're very good for um, di digestion. So And I love figs. I love figs. I can't have too many figs in my hand. Try not to eat them as you're going because you're not going to have anything left. So try not to do that really naughty thing to do try not to do that but you do have to taste it make sure it's okay <laughs> in go the figs oh i'm like delia smith i'm like a uk delia smith okay so the last thing i picked to go with my figs is dates i'm not going to use all of these dates dates are really really high in sugar really high in sugar try and get medulla dates the nice big fat ones if they sell them separately where you are but um again brilliant for your digestion etc try and get medulla dates they're a lot better for you they're not as sugary however if you can't just get like me get some dried ones but i'm not going to use the thing is though you think you're using a lot this is one of those things that you think you're using a lot but actually when you spread it out you need to make sure that everybody gets a bit of everything so that's why you almost have to overcompensate in your head i've learned that if you're too stingy with everything they come out really dry and just taste like oats no kid's gonna fall for that nobody is gonna enjoy that if you just bring them an oat bar I'm like who brought who brought the oat bar she did mm. instead they'll be like oh who brought the bar that tastes like heaven I did. I did that. I'm amazing. Oh, wicked. So, in here, right now, dead easy. All the good things that I just showed you. So we've got, um, we've got oats. We've got um, apricots. We've got figs. We've got dates. We've got raisins. We've got cashews. We've got almonds, and we've got a tablespoon of coconut oil. So. This obviously is too dry right now. It's just dry ingredients with a bit of coconut oil. So give it all a mix to make sure that it's all mixed together. So if anybody's bringing cakes into work and you have to get, bring a cake in, maybe every Friday you have a cake day, maybe bring these in for a change. So the nice thing about this as well, because they've got like a lot of nuts in and stuff, they stop you feeling hungry. And they really do. Like they really do. So, now, you have to make sure as well that the coconut oil just doesn't stay in one place. You might need to add a bit more, depending on, like, how much you're doing. If you're doing a lot of it, if you're doing the whole tray, you might need quite a bit more than that. Okay, so, we've mixed it together. 
Now, here's the thing that I found out that makes it awesome. So, if you get... Please open. <laughs> Hi! If you get some um, apple sauce... Now, this is organic apple sauce, so it's basically just like baby food. Get some apple sauce. Oh, I love you. Apple sauce. Add quite a little bit of apple sauce, so maybe four or five tablespoons, uh, uh, two tablespoons, yeah. So mix it, and then you're almost gonna have to like, you're almost gonna have to use your own judgment here. Remember, it's just apple, that's all it is. So, add a bit of apple sauce to make it a bit stodgy, which is what we want. Again, making sure that the um, coconut oil is mixed in. Oh my God, this looks so good. It, it, it doesn't do it justice on here, but honestly, it's so good. So it's starting to get a bit stodgy, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit more. I don't want it too wet because I've got my eggs to add yet, okay? Hi! Yeah, apple sauce, I know. It's crazy. I'll tell you what else is nice in it. Um, cranberry sauce, if you can add a bit of that. Anything, but it makes sure that it's just like, like the good stuff. Don't put the stuff that's just full of sugar, because then that's spoiling everything we're doing. Nothing in here is... is bad for you it's all healthy good ingredients like it's got natural sugar in of course it has but it's not gonna it's not like got the bad sugars that are hidden in all the other foods that are out there so now as you can see that's starting to almost become like a flapjacky like base so it's almost when i push it it's getting to that sticky point but it's not quite there so now we have the eggs okay hello we're making flapjack Catherine. So, one egg, two eggs. Now, depending on how much mixture you've got, I'm not going to tell you that there's no science to this, because there is no science to this. This was born out of babysitting. So, I normally add two eggs and then see how we go from there. This mixture, I might need three. Yeah, I'm going to need three. You'll know when you mix it how many you're going to need. So, it should almost make like a stodgy, flapjacky type oh god it's amazing awesome base so three eggs job done now let's get nice and close and personal right now so in here we have coconut oil we've got flax seeds we've got chia seeds we've got cashews we've got apricots we've got dates we've got figs we've got almonds we've got raisins we've got eggs for protein I've never added protein, actual protein, protein into this. I don't know what it'll taste like if it got cooked in the oven. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't taste that nice. But if there is a protein that you can find to add to this, do it. I've never done it. I'm sure it would taste amazing. If you could. But I've never done it. And I, I tell you what, I don't think I'd want to. I enjoy the ingredients that are in here so much that I don't know if I'd want to spoil it with cook over like putting protein in it by making the flavor different because i love figs i love dates i love nuts and i'd want to be able to taste them and i love if you put a decent amount of coconut oil in i'm going to actually add a tiny bit more coconut coconut oil if you add a decent amount of coconut oil as it cooks the coconut oil um melts and it seeps all the way through the whole mixture oh it tastes so good can just have this like underlining current of coconut it's amazing you can actually add coconut flakes if you want to but i would wait till at the end so i'm mixing all this together can you see how easy this is imagine how much your kids are going to love this if you've got kids i love doing it so a kid is going to love it right so i set my oven to 450 there's no science to this people you kind of just need to watch it because obviously depending on i haven't got any kind of measurements whatsoever we just kind of go with it. So this is how it's looking. Can you see? It looks amazing. Now, get your tray. Again, you have to make sure that the corners of your tray have got coconut oil in. Because if not, you won't be able to get these out. Okay? So we put our mixture. Oh, which smells like apple sauce. And that is just amazing because it reminds you of Christmas. So we put this on our tray and then what you do is you flatten it down like you do. And now what's very important is because obviously if you're handing these out, 
You've always got to make sure that all the ingredients are in each bit. So try not to like put all the dates in one area or all something else in another area because if you do that, if you do that, then like somebody's going to get oat, oat one and somebody's going to get an amazing one and then the person getting the oat one will be like, oh, I'm not having another one of them. And the person getting the amazing one will be like, oh my God, these are amazing. So you need to make sure everybody thinks they're amazing, not just the person who gets the good one with their dates in. Now, the trick to this is not to make it too thin. If you make these too thin, they're rubbish. And I'm telling you, believe me, just listen to me. I've done this enough times to know. You think to yourself, the further you can expand it on the pan, the better. It's not about that. It's quality over quantity. So just if it only reaches like half of the pan, only do half of the pan. Don't try and extend it because if they go too thin, they're rubbish. Okay, got it? <laughs> I'm not American, I'm from the UK. All the way, all day long, I'm mean, from the UK. Definitely not American. So, make sure that all the corners are greased and when you push it up, make sure that you, your edges are spot on. Now, here's your little trick. Because, Make sure that all of them are the same thickness as well, because otherwise it'll be rubbish when it comes out. Now, because there's dates in here and figs in here, you know how hard they are to cut when you've got them just normally. So we need to cut this first before we put it in the oven. Honestly, because it'll just save you so much time. So this is trial and error, by the way, because I've cooked this before and then taken it out. Now, you need to make sure that you don't crack the... Um, the uh, aluminum foil aluminium foil underneath so just make your indents now because it will save you so much time after okay so we're making super cool see i got an apricot there so when you get an apricot and it doesn't it doesn't let you cut it. Imagine if you had just taken them out of the oven and you're giving them to somebody and then it breaks because you've got an apricot sneaking in and can't cut it. Spoil everything. Okay, I know this is a bit quiet. I'll keep trying to talk while I'm trying to concentrate on cutting these. So, we're cutting them up to make amazing flapjacks. Now, because there's a lot of ingredients, I've got a thing, because there's a lot of ingredients in these guys, and I mean a lot of ingredients, you don't need to make anybody a big piece because one little piece of these has got dates, cashews, almonds, all the good stuff that they need, chia seeds. So every day you can get a flax seed in you, you can get some chia seeds in you, you can get some coconut oil in you, you can get all of these good things and they'll make you a treat for every single day, especially if you meal prep or you travel. These are going to save your life. So, can you see how I've made cuts in this way? And now I'm going to make cuts the other way. The worst is when you hit a hit a flapjack or something and you have to almost like, like make it work. Okay, so we're doing good. We're doing all right. We're all right. We're all right. We're all over this. I make this look really good. If you'd have seen the first time I did it, oh God, it was a right mess. It's trial and error, right? Learn from me, people. <laughs> In fact, those pancakes, the first time I ever made a pancake, God, it was a mess. It was just like, like eggs on a plate that tasted a bit pancakey. And that's how it works. That's how chefs do it. Right, so can you see now in... That's cost me probably $25, $26, that whole thing. I've made 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 15, I made two weeks worth of snacks there. You can't buy that for 15 quid. So in here, we've got coconut oil, which is good saturated fats. We've got eggs, which is protein. We've got chia seeds, almond seeds, um... Chia seeds, almond seeds, flax seeds, uh, cashews, um, dates, figs, apricots, uh, oats, all good. So now we're going to put that in the oven. 
at 450. Now what you need to do is you need to watch it very carefully and as soon as it starts to go brown on the edge that you can't see, that the edge that you've left, as soon as it starts to go brown, that's when you know that they're ready and then you take them out and then you leave them to cool. Now what we're going to do while we're waiting for that to almost cook a little bit, because they don't take very long, I'm just going to quickly wash my hands and then we're going to do today's challenge and then we're going to come back and get this okay. So give me one second. So, while waiting for that to cook, I've also gone over a couple of other things that I thought I would help you with. So, things that will help you. Anybody got any questions about anything that I've just done there while they're in? Anybody? Anyone? Open this door. Get a bit of light. Hi! So, anyone got any questions about what I just did there? Anybody misunderstood anything that I've done? Yeah, about 20 minutes or so, yeah. But you have to keep, <laughs> don't eat your things, but you have to keep your eye on it because sometimes it cooks quicker than others and if it burns, I have got any syrup in them, there's no, there's no sugar in them at all. So what we're going to do is once they've started to cook a little bit, once you take them out of the oven, what you're going to do is if you want to, on a couple of them, just add a few um, healthy chocolate. This is Belgian white chocolate, Belgian milk chocolate. So your kids will think they're amazing. It's a better way. How many eggs? I use three. But that depends on what mixture that you use, okay? I used about maybe a cup and a half of my oats. And I used three eggs. I find that if you use a few more eggs. I don't um you can play this again, don't worry, this is gonna stay on this page so you can go through it again. Hi, hi. So very quickly, people are asking me about my probiotic. So this is the probiotic that, that I use here. You might be able to get this one. It's called BioK, it's really good. This one is in a tablet form so you can take it and travel with it. Um, but you have to keep it refrigerated. So they come in little tablets like that. You have to keep these refrigerated. It's just because they're live basically, so live bacteria. So this is the probiotic that I use when I'm in Canada. When it, we don't have these in the UK, refrigerated ones, so you have to use a different one. So when I can't get that one, I use this one. So this company, Udo's Choice Company. So if I'm in Canada, I'll use this one because that they have it here. And this is the Udo's Choice one I would use if I was in the UK. Okay, so, but you have to refrigerate these. So these are the, these are the um, probiotics that I use. Um, somebody asked me about protein bars. There's two protein bars I will eat. My favourite one is this one, this Genuine Health one. This is fermented protein. I enjoy it. It's, it sits nice, it sits well on my stomach. It really is a nice protein bar. So try this one. This is the one that I do like. And the other one I like obviously is a Quest bar. Um, this has got more protein in than this one, but I prefer this bar as in it, it doesn't... I don't know, it doesn't make me feel as, as lethargic as this one. So it's got less of the crappy things in it. This is a better one for you. This is one of my favourite bars. I actually love the one with the lemon in it. Lemon and coconut is my favourite. So that's the one I like. So these are the two things that I would have to snack on. Um, as well as the past videos, obviously I've always got boiled eggs going. There's always a boiled egg in the fridge that I can have. Um, and I would have for a snack... I would get yourself a Greek yogurt, so just like this one. So this is the Greek yogurt. Now this Greek yogurt has, if you look on the side, it's got 17 grams of protein and 6 grams of sugar. You can get better than that. You can get about 22 grams of protein and like 5 grams of sugar. And I think it's called Skyla. I think it's called Skyla. You can actually get a better, better Greek yogurt than this. So try to aim for a Greek yogurt that's got low sugar, high protein. Okay, so that's what, you, what, that's what you're looking for when you're in... Um, on the supermarket later. With that, I would have some organic almond butter. Okay, I would add some of that. I always have almond butter. I'm not a fan of, of peanut butter. I prefer almond butter. But remember, if you are gonna have this, make, make sure you're making a note of how much of this you're having, because this is dangerous. This can get real dangerous. This is this is the one thing that we shouldn't be eating loads and loads and loads of. <laughs> uh, I love, but I love you. So yeah, so into this, 
just like Sean showed you on his um, Instagram the other day, you would mix your protein powder. And I've showed you this before. So get yourself a bowl, a scoop of the Greek yogurt, a scoop of protein powder. He adds a, a Quest bar as well. He chops up a Quest bar as well and puts that in. But I would I have some almond butter with mine and put that in there. So that's one of my go-to treats. So yeah. So today we have make um what shouldn't we eat loads of sugar you definitely shouldn't eat a lot of sugar so that's why i'm always telling you to look on the side of the packets um this is almond butter almond almond butter um i prefer almond butter and i even prefer the cashew butter over peanut butter i know sean's a big peanut butter fan um i'm not i just think it's boring i'm just um it's not on toast i like it on toast I like it but not not anything else so um, those are my go-to snacks that is my go-to bar I am actually making my own bars right now which are looking amazing they're looking so amazing so what we're gonna do is while these are cooking we're gonna go on to today's 100 day challenge and then we're gonna come back to these and I'm gonna show you how amazing they look how about that do you fancy that yes no, so I'm going to take you into the living room and then we're going to come back into the kitchen very, very soon. So, that is, do you want to have a quick look? Oh, ready? Oh, what? That's amazing. I'm so excited. So, um, we're making flapjacks. We're making the ultimate flapjacks, let me tell you. Um, so, today's 100 day challenge is going to be dead simple because... We have honestly worked our asses off this week, and I'm very aware of that. I'm very aware that Sean's got his thousand rep challenge. You've been doing my 100 day challenge with me, and um, I'm very aware of that. So I don't want you to burn out. I'm having a rest day today. If you have been doing all the challenges that we've been setting this, this week, I urge you to take a rest day. Some of you out there are doing so much that I'm very, very worried that you're overtraining and not aware of it overtraining is the worst it will actually set you back it will set you back a lot because you're not actually giving your body what it needs to fix itself what it needs to almost um refuel okay so if you are training six seven days a week please 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 try to just take a rest day to try to just you know really rest up go for coffee go and have a walk go and buy some magazines go and get a pedicure or manicure whatever do anything and just give your body that chance to recoup. So, um, if you want to get my meal plan, we're going to go back to the cashew to the flapjacks when, when just before we after this. If you want my meal plan, I've put it in the link above this video. So it says my meal plan, and the link is above this video. If you want to get any of the gear, any of the vests, or if you want to take part in any of the workouts that you've seen on this page this week, you need to go to Sweatflix. Now that's an app that you can download, so Sweatflix, go to your app stores and download the Sweatflix app, go to bodyrock.tv or sweatflix.com or send me a message and I'll help you and put you in the right direction. Or you can just um, join us every day on the lives and then click the link and, and aim it. Now Sweatflix is free for the first 30 days. So if you want to join us and just give us a go for 30 days, you can. And every day we will work out with you and we are going to be your personal trainer. So we are going to sit with you. We're going to talk through everything. We're going to show you how to do everything. And you are not going to be alone. So we are going to be right there to help you. Hi. Hi, everyone. You feel my thing that I normally put my phone on is in my kitchen with the flapjack. So now I'm like trying to... Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. 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 So, if you have done everybody's um, challenges this week, if you've done my challenges, if you've done Sean's challenges, I know it's been super intense. I know it's the thousand rep challenge today. So, if you did that, good on you. I saw Sean do it and he was about dead. So, hopefully, this weekend you are resting up like he said to do. Uh, are you ready for today's challenge? It's going to be dead simple. I thought what we would do is based on the um, plank challenge that we did last week, Today's challenge I'm going to set you is how long can you hold a plank for? Now, that's going to be very different for lots of different people. So I want to know how long you can hold a plank for. So a plank pl looks like this. You're going to come down onto the floor, onto your elbows, and you, 
you're going to come onto your feet. Now you're going to put your feet just hip distance apart. Your elbows are under your shoulders. And you are going to pull your abs in as tight as you can all the way down. And you're going to hold it. Just like that. How long can you hold that for? Now, if you're a beginner, I want you to go down onto your knees and do that and just hold. But how long, setting your timers, can you hold a plank for until you have to drop? That's all I want to know today. That's it. Seems easy, right? I'm going to post my time um, later on. I'll post my time. We're going to go back to my flapjacks in a minute and we're going to go and have a look and see how they look. But today's challenge is all I want you to do is wherever you are this evening or whatever you're doing, I want you to set a timer, press go, and tell me how long you can hold the plank for. That's it. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna try in my head. I do it burgers, I posted one last night. Um, I posted an elk burger that I had last night for the first time. It was nice. I had it with a salad. So I went to a burger bar. Um, it's called The Works. Um, and they had all these burgers on a, on a thing and then they had these salads and I said is there any chance I can have this salad with no dressing but I want to try this burger and they said yeah and that's how you do it you don't have to have the chips you don't have to have the bun you don't have to have all the bad things that come with it you just pick what you want off the menu that that works for you it's not always easy when you go out I get it but 99% of the time you can mix it up and you can find the things that actually work for you so yeah hi Two minutes, if you can hold, can you, I'm going to say in my head, I'm going to try and hold the plank for, yeah, oh, I should be able to do it for over two minutes, but let's give it a go. So I want you to hold the plank for as long as you can, even if it's for 30 seconds, I don't care what it is, but your challenge today is to hold the plank as long as you can. I'm going to do it today, I'll pose my time, it's my rest day, but that's all I'm going to be doing. So we're going to hold the plank for as long as we can. How long can you hold the plank? That's your challenge for today. Post it on the Body Rock Insider group and, or tag us on the Instagram, tag your timers on the Instagram and we will, um, we'll go through it and we'll try and beat each other. Bye Stephanie, bye. Somebody can do three minutes. Try to two, three minutes, try it, let's see. Let's see how many minutes you can do it for. I have trouble staying still. Just try. Who the hell has the time to hold the plank for an hour? No way. Oh, yeah, there was a guy. I saw it, yeah, on the internet. Some guy held it for, like, like a ridiculous amount. Do it for five minutes. I'm going to try for as long as I can. I'm going to set my timer, and I'm going to try to hold the plank for as long as I can. So that is going to be your challenge today. Has anybody got any questions on equipment, on our vests? Has anybody got any questions about anything? Do you want to see my dogs? Then come over. Hi, kids. Hi. So this, if you don't know, this is Molly. We had a bath today, so we're not very... Hi. This is Molly. And this one is Pippa. Now, Molly will give you... Hi. Molly will give you kisses all day long. Like this. I don't particularly enjoy it, but I do like the odd kiss, but the, the lads will let them do it all the, all the time. But Pippa will only let you give her side face kisses. That's it. Hi, shout out to the Navy Seals. Absolutely, hi. So, this is Molly and Pippa. They're meant to be little teacup puppies, but a teacup chihuahua and a teacup Yorkie. And they are smaller, but um, they're a little bit bigger than teacup, aren't you, babes? Aren't you? Hi, say hello. Okay, don't then. Hi, he's so beautiful. Hi. <coughs> Try it, Laurie. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try for two minutes plus. That's what I'm going to try for. I'm going to post my time later on. 14 minutes? <sighs> Are you kidding me? 14 minutes? Whew. My gosh. So, I'm back in the kitchen, which means that I'm going to check on our super duper flapjacks that we've got going on. So, today we have made, just like we did with the protein, we've made a healthy snack that you can make with any anything... I have showed you what I would make mine with. This is exactly how I would make mine. So if you want to know, like, what I would do, this is it. So. Oh, my God. This is so good. I'm so excited. The only thing you have to stop, and that's, um, 
It's really going to stop you. The only thing you have to watch is not eating them all. You have to really do stop not, not getting to eat them all. Right, so. Really helpful not having a um, thing to do the thing. Okay, so. If I can show you very quickly, you see on the edges here how it's got brown and dark, and you see around the edges there how it's brown. That means that they're almost done. Now you want to get this edge a little bit darker. Okay, so that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that edge to get just a tiny bit darker because what you're going to do is once they're really, really hard, can you see? I'm trying to hold it and let you see what I'm doing. So they're too soft right now. You can feel that they're too soft when you move them. But what you're going to do is once they've had a couple more minutes, come on. So they're a little bit too soft right now. So they're too soft in the middle, just a little bit, but they're quite hard. So once, once they've had another, I'm going to say about five minutes, because I can feel them and they're quite hard, you have to leave them to cool. Now, if you want to add, so they're a little bit soft right now, but they're still just about ready. This is the time that you would add, hello, this is the time that you would add the chocolate bits if you want the chocolate bits. So I'll show you how we'll do it. This is exactly how we'll do it. I would add a few bits of chocolate. I like white chocolate. That's how I roll. How do you roll? I like white chocolate. Over dark chocolate every day, white chocolate is the is the way to go. So, if you've got kids and you know that they are not really fans of anything healthy, what you're going to do is show you. Hi, hi, hi. What you're going to do is you're just going to add a tiny bit of chocolate and you can see it's already, oh my God, look at that. You can see it's already starting to melt. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I don't like dark chocolate, it's like, so it's not a treat, it's like a good treat. So, I've got probably about five minutes left on these, that's it, before they're done. And then you have to split them, really not helpful not having the thing to put it back in the oven over here, should, should have really thought about that. So I've got five more minutes, then what we're going to do is you have to take them all individually off, and then you leave them to cool before you before you eat them, if you can. Okay, so I'm going to very quickly go over what we've done today. We have done coconut oil. We've got oats. We've got flax seeds, sunflower seeds, um, apricots, figs, dates, cashews, almonds, uh, raisins. All right three eggs, about a um, cup and a half worth of grains, um, organic grains, and we mix them all together, put them in a pan, Bob's your uncle, job done. Now you've got treats for everybody. It's going to take another five minutes probably, that's it. I am going to, two minutes, people are doing two minutes. Hi, so we've been making, we've been cooking together today. I promised you cooking, and that is exactly what we have done. So these are going to make amazing treats for either co-workers, for tomorrow if you are going to a Super Bowl party. And your apple sauce, you can use this for your protein pancakes. And also, and also with your Greek yogurt. Apples are amazing for, um, for your digestion. So I've gone over probiotics, I've gone over bars and snacks, I've gone over treats that you can do at home. Oh my god, we've gone over everything today. Literally everything. Who else is doing this on a Saturday? Which other company is doing this on a Saturday bar is? I'm telling you. I really want you I really want to show them you when they're done, so we'll just keep talking for another minute. How is everyone? Anybody got any questions while we're waiting while we're waiting? So today's challenge is to see how long you can hold a plank for. I'm going to do it. I love a good Yorkshire pudding, yeah. Mm. Hi. Hi, everyone. So today we're making healthy snacks. We're just waiting for it to cook. We're waiting for it to um, finish. 
and then I'm going to show you just how amazing they are. And you'll be like, wow. I'm, your... <laughs> I'm not a cooking queen. I only make things that A, I like, and B, they're easy because I ain't got all day to be making stuff. And also, I love flapjacks, but whenever you buy a flapjack, there's always so much butter, butter in them or something rubbish in them. And I don't want that. I want to have like really good ingredients in my food so whenever i'm making stuff i always try to add things that are actually good ingredients hi we're making flapjacks it's going to be amazing we're just waiting for them to finish and then we're done hi can you make any variations you can put whatever you want in it Anne. you can do whatever you want hi hello from new york mm. We're making uh, flapjacks. You can rewind. The fridge door is still open. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Yvonne. Anybody got any questions before I get these flapjacks out of here? Yes, I do avoid butter. Yeah. That's it, Terry. Just how, how long can you hold the plank for? That's all I want to know. Put a number in your head. I'm going to try for three minutes. More, if I can. Uh, thank you. You can have a piece, yeah. So I'm hoping these are almost about done right now. I'm gonna get me a plate. I'm so excited about the whole situation. I'm excited about the whole situation. So, are you ready? So look at these bad boys. What time do I have? Time here is, uh, I don't know actually. Oh, my watch on. Oh God, I've been talking for a long time. Oh my god, wait till you see these. You kill it you kidding me, Lise? Are you serious about this? Oh, I wish you had. I almost wish you had smell of vision so you could smell just how good these are. So, here look. Around the edges now, all even on the middle, they've gone like hard. Look at that look at all that chocolate that's melted on there for the kids. I ain't got any kids. <laughs> I ain't got any kids. <laughs> They're for me. So, what you have to do now is you have to take them off individually. If you think when you're taking them out, they're a little bit soggy still. There's a difference between soggy and soft. Remember, when they're, um, when they're cooling, they'll harden up. So there's a big difference between soggy and soft. As long as they're coming away... Oh my god. As long as they're coming away how they should be. If you don't take them off this paper, by the way, now you'll never get them off. Learn that one the hard way as well. But you have to leave them to, to dry, spaced out. And try not to let anybody come in the kitchen while you're doing this because the smell is so intoxicating that you won't have any left. And be a bit ruthless with them. Don't worry about like make, being a bit harsh when you take them off because nothing's going to hurt. Nothing's going to damage. You'll be fine. So, there's a couple there done already because I've been doing this for a long time. So, here you go. So, here's our flapjacks. We've got some with um, chocolate. We've got some without. And also, these can also be halved again. So these are going to make perfect snacks for you or your family or tomorrow when you're at the Super Bowl. Or if you just want to make them and, and take them to work as your afternoon snack, you can do that. Everything in them, super healthy. Super, super, super healthy. So yeah, there you go. That's my healthy snack for you. Yeah, parchment paper would be better than aluminum foil or aluminium foil but I didn't have any parchment paper so yes you can watch this back you can make these with me um try not to buy packets and packets and packets of ingredients do like I did do it cleverly only buy what you need or what you want just look at what you've got in the kitchen and just try it just give it a go so there you go oh thank you Laurie so there you go there and there they are it's perfect I literally made this when I was babysitting and the, I was trying to find a healthy pudding for the for the kid and he wanted chocolate and I was determined not to give him chocolate so we made them together and because I put chocolate on them he ate all of them which is great so that's it
we have got a chicken wing recipe um, in our um, in our folder. So if you go to the Body Rock YouTube page, it's on there. The meal plan that I follow is above this link. So if you want to check out my meal plan, just click the link above here. These are just re you can either use regular oats, but the one I got was um, a seven grain cereal because it's got my flax seeds in it and it's got my chia seeds in it, and then I don't have to pay for the extra. So it saved me money. So yeah, there you go. So I hope today this has showed you that you can make healthy treats um, without spending A, a load of money. B, it didn't take a lot of time, did it? I just put it all in a bowl, whacked it in the oven, job done. That's it. So what if you're wanting something to do with the kids, if it's cold where you are, if you just want you know, a healthy snack for the week ahead, or if you've got a party coming up and you need something to make, give these a go. Especially if, like me, all your friends are quite healthy. They will really, really appreciate that. So I'll go back and I'll post the ingredients that I did, that I put on here. Um, I'm not sure what you can use instead of eggs. You need something to bind it. I don't know because I'm not, but I'm not um, vegan. But I'm sure you could find something that that you could use instead. You just need something to bind it. So yeah. So that's it. There you go. Enjoy your Super Bowl tomorrow. I'll post a few videos. I'll post what I put in these. Please post your times for your plank challenge today. Um, enjoy it. You've had a tough week. I am going to love and you love you and leave you and peace you out. And I will um, see you on Monday. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye.